Hey everybody, I'm Bear, and today we're going to be giving you a look behind the scenes of Bear and Pixie Art Studio as we prepare for Fan Expo up in Portland. So, without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So I have an unboxing video. We just have our prints that came in. I ordered some new ones and also some old ones. So let's open them up and check them out. This is the Miraculous Ladybug. I did go in and touch up a few of the details here, um, but overall really, really nice. So this is one of the newer ones. And then I brought back some more prints of the cat one. This one was really popular. And we've got some bigger prints now as well. So definitely excited to look through. We've got tons and tons of different prints in here. So excited to go through some of them. So let's start with these. I do have another design in here. So let's take a look. Oh, hi, there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna be careful not to rip the paper. <laughs> okay, so I've got Miraculous Ladybug and I also have a new mermaid print of Snow White. And I did go in and touch up a few of these details as well. So that actually looks much better. I went in and kind of touched up her hair as well. Uh, in the original print, it was like basically like all um, kind of flat. We kind of lost a little bit of the detail. So I went in, you can kind of see a little bit more of that detail now. And then also the blue was pretty dark. So I went in and kind of touched up a little bit more of the blue here. But overall, yeah, that looks great. We got a bunch of these prints here. And like I said, this is all just the cat prints. So that one's good to go. So let's look at the bigger ones. So there's a lot of new designs in here as well as copying up some old designs that originally were just on five by seven, um, but now we made them in a bigger size. So we have the dog one. This one was my personal favorite. And then we also have the mermaid print. So I think the colors on this one turned out really, really nice. And I really love the look of it like on a bigger print as well. Before we just had this one, like I said, on a five by seven. So it's really nice kind of seeing it on a bigger piece of paper too. And then this is one of the newer designs. I do have these, this one at least, um, each of these has like individual sheets on five by seven, but it was kind of nice. I thought like, oh, well, I definitely gotta have maybe both of them together on one sheet. So um, that's one of the newer prints here. And I really love uh, just that color popping against the background there too. So love that. And then here's the other one. So of course we had to have Anna in there as well. I just love that pop of orange too. That just turned out so nice. And then another mermaid print. So this one was also this year uh, with koi fish. 
And I also went in and made this one as well, a little bit of a bigger print. So um, this one was a little bit more difficult to get printed. Originally the colors were a lot darker on the foreground here. So I had to go in and do a couple changes a couple few times, um, but actually this version looks so much nicer. So a lot of more detail you can see. Um, before the dogs were actually getting completely lost in the grass, it was that dark. So went in and kind of lightened it up quite a bit more. Um, now you can actually see the cute little dogs. So perfect, that looks great. And I believe that is all of them. Yep, because then it just goes back to the dog. So, yep, that's all of them. So that looks great. So I'll show you guys kind of all those prints again here. So we've got the two five by sevens, Margaret's Ladybug and Snow White, and then more of the square cat prints. And then here are all the bigger ones. So we've got the dog one, the two mermaid ones, We've got the two mermaid ones there, and then the new ones with Elsa and Anna, and then the night print as well. So, oh, hi, Zozo. So, hope you guys enjoyed that unboxing. They look really, really nice. Can't wait to show you guys at our upcoming convention. Now, we've sold at one other convention uh, before Fan Expo here, and at Fan Expo, we thought maybe there's a way to make our table display a little bit more, quote unquote, like a shop. Um, a, a place where a customer could really kind of walk up, that signage is a lot clearer, that there are things that catch the person's eye, and also, just because Pixie's an illustrator, she was wanting to try to figure out a setup as well that kind of drew people's eye and throughout the whole setup kind of allowed their eyes to naturally move about it and kind of look at all the kind of products that we were offering and kind of pick their favorite and see if it would help in some ways translate to sales. And so one of the things that we noticed at Rose City Comic Con that a lot of vendors were doing was these cube organizer sets. And they were like, you know, pretty inexpensive on Amazon. So we kind of thought, hey, let's try that and see what it's like. Um, and so in some of the video, you'll see us as we set it up. And it's actually not bad to set up. It's pretty simple in and of itself. The cool thing about it too is that it's insanely customizable. You can really kind of figure out how you want to put your signage up and then you stack your cubes in that specific way and it really just kind of benefits it. And not only that, the cube organizer also allows you to kind of have some storage even behind your little display so that you can store products a lot easier and you know if you need to restock the table, um, all you got to do is just pull it out. Uh, you know, those products from those little organized storage sets that you've created and then just put them right out in front of your booth. And it's really not um, too crazy or nuts of a ordeal or task to try to put these th together in a way that kind of works. And so we really liked, um, as we prepared here for Fan Expo, um, being able to use these cube organizers. And we feel like we've got a pretty cool table display setup for this one. We really feel like we've upgraded our game and our kind of presentation capabilities with this setup. And so we cannot wait for you guys to see uh, what our booth looks like. And we will definitely let you know what that looks like in our upcoming video that kind of shows you the after of selling at Fan Expo. And uh, we cannot wait for you guys to give your feedback on what you thought of our booth. So, you know, when we do have that video, we are hoping to hear a lot of comments from you guys talking about if you liked our booth or not and uh, what else you think we could do to up our presentation game even further. So my order of stickers came in. So let's do an unboxing. And I went through Spooky Stickers. I'll link her down below if you guys want to check her out. So let's open them up and see what we have. have a oops bag here, not sure what that one is. <laughs> the 
These look pretty good to me. We're coming up the stairs. Oh. <laughs> There's nowhere to hide. There's practically nothing, even in the room. Stop, it's all slipped up. All right, Zoe, come here. Okay, let's see. So these are supposed to be oops bags. But I don't know, I don't really see anything wrong with them. Yeah, I don't really see anything wrong with them or anything. They, they look pretty good to me. Let's look at the other one here. So here's her business card. If anyone else wants to check her out. And she does small orders, which is kind of why I went through her. Um, a lot of the other sticker places that I look at, you know, you have to have like a minimum of 50 or 100 stickers. And I'm just starting off small here, so um, that's kind of why I went through hers. She's got like a known minimum uh, amount for stickers, so I thought I'd try this one out first to save a little bit on money. All right, let's compare. We have the other ones here. I see what's going on okay so I had asked for an easy peel so these have the easy peel on them I don't know if you guys can see there's that edge cut line all the way around so that's the easy peel and then this one uh, obviously does not have that easy peel by comparison so it just has like that cut border but actually I'm not really upset or anything like either one work works great or um, both of them look really really nice so perfect thank you so much spooky stickers yeah, these look beautiful. Beautiful colors, cute little cat. So yeah, both of these options look really, really nice. All right, so thank you so much. And again, just make sure to check her out. And we'll also have these stickers up on our website. And I'll link that down below in the Bear and Pixie Art Studio. And we'll have these for upcoming conventions as well. Uh, we also have other stickers like dogs or uh, let me go get those. So here are some of our other stickers as well, just to kind of go with for our conventions. So I thought uh, we already have a lot of dog little stickers, so that's kind of why I fit in um, this little cat one. I thought that'd be perfect. So we have a little corgi, a little chocolate lab, and a little golden retriever with his tennis ball. And some other uh, fan art one as well. So we have Miraculous Ladybug, if you're ever a fan of Miraculous Ladybug. And then I also just have a uh, original art piece that I did as well for a fox and uh, a little girl there too. Thank you guys so much for watching and we hope to see you guys at Fan Expo. I'll put up a map of where our table will be and our table number is A701 if you'd like to stop by and say hi. Uh, I'll also leave a link down below to our shop if you want to check any of our new products out. And uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in and we hope to see you in the next one. Bye!